Do you own a bubbling sense of curiosity within yourself? It's like you simply need to carry out that major explosion involving experiment that you witnessed on YouTube, simply because you're not content by watching it alone. Well, if you do, then I simply need to ask you, what will you do if one part of the experiment went wrong? Well, you'll simply just laugh it out loud and attempt the experiment again, keeping in mind not to repeat the same mistakes that you did previously, right? Well, as how it seems in Florida, the cause of a failed experiment is so much more severe for Kara Wilmot, for 16-year-old Kara Wilmot, as how it's featured in this week's article. Want kids to be scientists? Don't arrest them for experimenting by Liz Dwarf. According to the article, it all started when two bits surfaced a Los Angeles-based company conducted a science team steam carnival in attempt to reinvent education, as well as allowing students to engage themselves in science, technology, mathematics, and even engineering through a carnival-style learning. 16-year-old Kara Wilmot decided to participate in a carnival by reinventing a popular YouTube experiment which involves the mixing of a toilet bowl cleaner and aluminium foil in a plastic bottle. However, she did not attempt it within the walls of a school science lab. Instead, she chose to attempt it behind the school cafeteria compound. Well, after a relatively team explosion, Kiara was arrested by the police with the charge of possessing a destructible weapon within the school compound. In addition to that, the school also expelled her and most of her teen years will now be spent in prison. Duovo's main purpose of writing this article was to rebel against the charges that were pressed against Kiara Wilmot, as how it's clearly stated in this article. How is that we talk so big in America about wanting kids to be scientists so that we can compete in the global economy only to turn around and arrest them when they actually take the initiative to engage and experiment? It's encouraging to see the scientific community is also standing up and supporting the world with science is not a crowd hashtag on social media. This shows that the author feels positive about how people are using social media to help and to build Gera out in prison. She is also encouraging her readers to help Gera through social media and by signing the petition that was designed for Gera. I agree with the author that the school authority should have further encouraged Gera to further explore the world of chemistry instead of arresting her. In fact, I myself own a similar experience along with Gera as there was a time in 5th grade where we were required to carry out a volcano eruption experiment. And like Gera, one part of my experiment went wrong and the whole volcano exploded instead. What's my reaction to this failure? Well, I just laughed it out loud and that's one thing for sure, I didn't get arrested like Gera. This article also reminds me of a previous article entitled can social media really help out in disaster? If people are just helping Kiara out by signing online petitions and hashtagging science is not a crime on Twitter, will it actually bail her out of prison? Are people actually taking an initiative to help Kiara beyond the boundaries of their homes? Despite the odds, I still hope that Kiara would be released as soon as possible because as I said earlier, it's just ridiculous for a 16-year-old to get arrested for a failed science experiment.